Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so for today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a bag I recently purchased and I'm really excited for it. It is this cute bag right here, which is the Coach Pillow Madison shoulder bag. And I'm really excited to add this bag into my collection just because I've been kind of like mildly stalking this bag for a hot second. Um, but finally she's here with the other bags and I'm really excited. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about this bag, show you the details and what my first impressions are. So if you're interested in today's video over this little cutie, um, please do stay tuned. Just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an FA. However, all the bags on my channel are for my own personal collection and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, please do consider liking and subscribing just because all I do on my channel is talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. It comes with the Pillow Madison bag. As you can see, the bag itself is a very poofy bag. Um, it has these dramatic diagonal quilts throughout the bag. And as you can see as well, it's very soft and pliable. Um, and I just love Love that aspect so much about this bag being so soft and squishy um, and that just also makes it a very comfortable bag to use as well um, but for the main details of this bag as you see it's going to be a flap style closure bag so it features the iconic coach turn lock right there with the leather cover detail um, for the C on the front and then here's a quick look at the back um, the bag does have a back pocket and it's going to be magnetic as well so it's really satisfying to open and close just because it it just makes that clanking sound, which I really like. Um, and it also has a, a microfiber interior for that pocket as well. On the bottom of the bag, there is no feet. And as you can see, it does feature that really poofy design as well throughout the bottom of the bag and the sides. And then on this side here, you'll see that it does feature the um, puffy hang tag. And since this is a um, pillow style, um, it does have the really big hang tag here with the Coach New York um, embossed on the front. And then on the back side, it will be left plain and it's just attached on to this little d-ring right here so when it comes to like the chain strap as you can see it is going to be in brass hardware and this bag does have the leather woven detail through the chain as well since the bag itself is in chalk um the chain straps are going to match the body of the bag so it does have the chalk leather woven through the straps here like so and the cool thing too is that this bag does feature four grommets on top like that so you can double them up to carry it as a short shoulder bag or you can extend them and carry carry it as a crossbody strap um, if you so choose to. So getting inside the bag, as you can see, there is a little turn lock closure here in the front like so. And when you open the bag, there is a little bit of a hidden pocket, which I think is really cool. And it is going to be magnetic as well. And as you can see, it is a very strong magnet. Um, and it does have kind of a puffy flap style closure here. And then on the inside of that pocket, it is going to be lined in microfiber. And it is a very generous pocket as well. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the front section right there. Here's the inside of the bag. So as you can see, you do get a little bit of a zip pocket there in the back and you have your coach story patch as well. And the inside of this bag will be lined in a majority of like this microfiber material, um, but you do get a little bit of leather in the back right there. And then in the zip pocket, um, you have a fabric lining um, right in there. So I put some items in here just to show you guys everything that this bag is able to hold. So when opening the bag, um, here is what it looks like. So in the main compartment here, I have this little coach tabby charm, and this is usually what holds my headphones. And then I have this wristlet pouch here, which holds like miscellaneous little items. And then I have my card case, and this is from Gucci, it's like fun, like Marmont quilted design. And then I think that's it for the inside compartment there. And then in this little hidden pocket, I usually actually don't use it just because I'm like a very forgetful person. So sometimes if I put things in here, I'll kind of forget it. Um, but for today's video, I put this little like change pouch in there and that fits nicely on the inside. And then on the back of the bag um, is where my phone is. And as you can see, this pocket is amazing because it just like closes automatically. Um, but my phone is just going to be 
this right here. Um, this is actually my old phone. I'm filming with my new phone. Um, but for demo purposes, this is just the iPhone XR, which is pretty close in size to the new iPhone. The other thing I want to do really fast is a quick side-by-side -side comparison between the quilted Madison shoulder bag and the pillow Madison shoulder bag. And as you can see here, they are next to each other. And I feel like these are vastly different handbags, even though they are the exact same in concept being a quilted chain shoulder bag. Um, so when it comes to the quilted um, Madison shoulder bag here with the vertical quilts, this bag is very, very structured. So as you can see, I am squeezing very hard on the sides of this bag and it's just not budging. It's a very nice, like boxy structured bag. So if you did want something that is more structured, I would say the older version of this bag is really nice. Um, while in comparison, when it comes to the newer pillow mass and shoulder bag here, this bag is really soft and squishy. So if you want something that is just a little bit more relaxed and it's like silhouette and styling, um, this one's a really great bag for that. So I just want to show you guys a quick side by side of these two bags. And the other comparison I want to do as well is a quick side-by-side -side between the Pillow Mass 18 and the larger Pillow Mass and Shoulder Bag. Um, so here they are next to each other and as you can see the Pillow Mass 18 is significantly smaller than this bag here um, but they are both the exact same bag in concept with the chain shoulder strap, the quilted design, and the puffy look. Um, and if you guys also want to as well I can definitely do a more in-depth comparison between these two bags later on. My first impressions on this bag is that I love it so much. Um, I think the number one thing about this bag that I really like is how soft and squishy this bag is. Um, every time I carry this bag, I just like play around with it just because it is so soft um, and really squishy. And I don't know, it's just like a weird thing, but like sometimes like I'll have this bag on my lap and I'll just like kind of like mush it um, if it's like in my hands or like nearby just because it's so soft. Um, and I also just love the exaggerated look too of this bag with the big pillow quilts here on the front and the back of the bag. Um, it's just really fun. And I also love the fact that this bag gets a ton of compliments too just because it's just like kind of weird being so poofy and the other thing too i really love about this bag is the color combination i got this in um i was really torn between this like color combo here which is the chalk with the brass hardware or the dub gray with the um gunmetal hardware but at the end of the day what made me decide to get this bag is definitely the brass hardware which is my hardware of choice for any handbag really is like gold or brass um, and I just thought the brass with the chalk leather just looks too pretty to like not get. So I'm really happy I got this one over the gray one. And the very last thing I just want to point out is that this bag is amazing to carry as a shoulder bag just because it is really squishy. So if I carry it as a shoulder bag like this, I can easily squish it down with my elbow like so. Um, so that is really nice if you just want this bag like out of the way or I don't know, you can just like push it back if you want to. Um, but I just like to sometimes like squish it when I carry it. I don't know why. It's just weird, but it's just fun. So that does it for today's video over the pillow mats and shoulder bag. Um, if you guys have any questions over this bag, just leave a comment down below and I can try to help you out. Or you can also message me on Instagram as well and I can try to help you out that way. Um, but if you did like today's video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye.